My name is Mike Odd, manager of Max Sabbath, and you're watching Tattoo.com. Hey, everybody, it's Mischievous Mel, live from Rockwell on Scene Music Magazine, Tattoo.com, and Edge Rock Radio, and I am in Dallas with the one and only Max Sabbath. <laughs> hey, Mike Odd, <laughs> manager of Max Sabbath here. <laughs> we are going to go behind the mask with you because apparently even the clown is scared of me. I mean, come on now. <laughs> Come on, What's would the clown, clown be scared? Your lead singer, as you know, your band. Yes, 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 yes. The band, if you do not know or have not seen, do I use the word parody or do I say a better version? I'm going to go better version of the happiest, scariest meal you will ever see, taste, or hear. I like it. I like it. But parody is good for legal reasons, so we'll say both. <laughs> yes. We are not responsible for any feelings hurt, any non-PC things, or any French fries or hamburgers that get murdered during this conversation. Oh. Just saying. <laughs> Happened. I told you this is going to go off the rails. I mean, really, how do you keep it on? Going off the rails on a gravy train. There you go. Oh, oh. I was, however, a little <laughs> off put by one thing. Watch the video where you guys ground up the cow, which was pretty freaking awesome. But as a vegetarian, I was like, hmm, it said skinny people, which does not apply to me, and vegetarians. And you were very mean to vegetables in that video. For the life of me, I can't think of the song, but it was a little one where you were just begging on the vegetables. Why do we need lettuce? Oh, no, that was a, that was, <laughs> there was a lot of sarcasm involved. All right, but you it see. hurt my feelings. You see? <laughs> I have no, feelings, no, no, sir. No, no. No, 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 no. Um, but I like what you did there, let us. No, no. <laughs> no, Ronald is very anti-fast food, very anti-junk food, very pro-health food, very pro-vegetables, plant-based diets. Uh, that, 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 that song has a lot of uh, sarcasm in it, and uh, they, they just, they, he's just kind of, at that point, um, kind of straddling kind of the both Ronald, uh, what, what, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, sarcasm is my favorite place to live. And if you do not get sarcasm, then fuck you. I don't need you in my life, okay? So I'm just saying. And I would think that would apply to your music as well. I mean, there are some people that are going to say, what the fuck did I just see? But I said, what the fuck did I just see? Those are the two different yes, there's reactions. A lot of, yes. And we're fine with both of them. I was the more you love, the more you're hated. If you're not hated, you're not getting much love. This is true. <laughs> this is true. The more haters you have, I must be like the most loved fucking female on the planet at this point. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. So you guys are on the Make Cheese. No, I want to say Make Cheese Great Tour, but it is not. <laughs> I just want to throw great in front of cheese because I am from Wisconsin. That makes sense. Even these uh, microphone things are shaped like the cheese head helmets, I've noticed. Did you do that on purpose? No, but it was a happy gift from the heavens. Well, you could paint these <laughs> yellow and put holes in them. You know, I have a cheese hat that I was going to wear, but it in fact smelt Aww. like cheese because it's been moved. And back in the day when I was drinking, I'm sure it's been puked in a few times. <laughs> you ever have leftover old-fashioned, like, <laughs> recycled in a cheese hat? It ain't cool. <laughs> Well, you know, cheese doesn't go bad. It just turns into a different kind of cheese, you know? It is. I should yeah. quiz you on cheese. Can you name me three kinds of cheese curds? I, you're the one from Wisconsin, But you are this me. there, sir, and you are, in fact, <laughs> singing about food, cows. I, I just manage these guys. I, I, <laughs> I can, I, wow. That's your way of saying, I, mean, I don't know what the fuck I got into here. I've eaten, I've eaten cheese curds before. Why don't, why don't you explain to me the, the three different kinds of cheese curds? Oh, there's curds. more than three. A cheese, oh. curd, cheese curds are the ones that you can eat warm, and when you eat them, they squeak. And the squeakier right. they are, right. the fresher they are. And right. it's basically all the fat on the top. But they have flavors now. They have, like, dill. They have, like, garlic. They have nacho cheese. They have... Oh, my fucking God. I could sit here for 45 minutes and name them. But those are like the top three. And there's so many different things you can do with them. You can take cheese and stuff it into cheese and put it on top. It's interesting. Like a you, cheese ducking. Yeah, well, when you go to Wisconsin and you order food, like if you order at McDonald's <laughs> in Wisconsin, you have to say, please hold the cheese because they automatically put it on because you're in Wisconsin. Uh, well, it's funny you should say that because it's the American <laughs> cheese tour. Bam. There it is. <laughs> it's a long segue, but a segue nonetheless. <laughs> See, we just kind of went around a circle, up the hill, over the valley, through the woods, under the cow, and got somewhere. <laughs> Have you ever milked a cow? 
I have not. You've never touched the udders of a cow? So well, I didn't you say are, that. Well, have you ever tipped a cow? <laughs> um, well, like 50 cents, but, you know, like not like... Because the funnest thing to do when you were... a big cow tipper, you know? Like 50 cents, 75 cents. I'm not getting into like See, I'm going to show backs, you, you some know? redneck love that you got to do the next time you're out somewhere where there's cows. You get all trashed. You go out in a field. You see poor little Betsy sitting there well, like... Well, I'm oh. familiar with yeah. the concept of cow tipping. But, but every not, time you tip not, one, take a shot. It makes it funner. something I really want to get involved So either you're going to tip or the cow's going to tip. What? <laughs> that seems a little cruel, does it not? We're not really... Um, you well, know, you're we're... not hurting it. I mean, they lay around all day anyway. Oh, my. Just helping out. <laughs> you're just, just helping, helping out. out. We do it for the herd. You know, that's kind of like saying don't milk them because it hurts their boobs. You ever hold boobs in four boobs? It hurts. I only have two boobs and it hurt. I couldn't imagine having another <laughs> two. Although my dream is to get a third one on the back. And I say the back because everybody's like, why wouldn't you put it in the front? I only have two <laughs> boobs, said no one ever until this point. Well, you know, if you work towards three, that's somebody to hang on to. That way you don't have well, to look at it. Well, I'd want to I suppose. Right? Well, this is a family <laughs> band. What's going on here? I don't know if I would call it family band. It is a family band, actually. Uh, Ronald is very specific about keeping everything very uh, family-oriented. And if you look into it, really, um, it seems like a big scary thing, but it's actually uh, it's actually all clean and ready for the kids. And the, it and, is it is cute. And the band has actually played at an elementary school and done the same Aww. show. And so uh, it's, uh, that's his whole thing. Is that like he wants the kids to get the message? You know. So I will he, preface so this by saying clean, I'm sorry, so sir. He keeps it clean. <laughs> <laughs> so the parents will allow the kids to get the message. You know? No, it's really cool what you guys do. I, I really like the fact that, you know, you keep it fun. Too much entertainment today fails to entertain. They go towards um, propaganda of whatever their beliefs or feelings are. Instead of just saying, you know what, all of that's always out there and it's always hitting me. I just want to escape in a good time. And I right, feel right. like that's what you guys do. Well, the positive message is there, and if you want to delve into the lyrics and really figure out what he's talking about, about, about food and what's going on in this country in particular with food, it's there. But if you go to the show, it's not preachy. It's 100% fun. It's like just crazy clownery as well clownery as Ozzy said right <laughs> um, and uh, you know it's it's a arena sized rock show crammed onto a club club sized stage so when it, it's just literally spilling off with lasers and smoking grill and burger inflatable burgers bopping around on the crowd and it's just it's very uh, interactive it's something that you really have to see live to understand yeah to be fair, as an as a child, I would love that. As an adult who is, as a child, stuck in an adult's body, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, you know, like, I'm like, ooh, shiny, blinkety, blowy up, I, fire. There's a reason I threw away my life. I mean, uh, dedicated my life to what I'm doing right now <laughs> for these guys. It is, it's, it's awesome. I mean, <laughs> more people need to experience different because yeah. there's so much, I mean, Everything's so manufactured. There's built bands. There's bands that are together because the record label said, you, you, and you, go. And they can't stand each other. Right. You can see it in the music. You guys bring, like, you like each other. Or so it seems to appear. Yeah. yeah. And get along. We certainly don't have that problem with the record labels. <laughs> and you chose <laughs> And you chose to be together, you know? Right, right. And you can see that. I mean, you know, and you can see when it's authentic and when it's real and it's right. authentic. And it's fun. It's absolutely yeah. fun. So cheers to you guys. And we will see you at the show. Trees, Dallas, Max Sabbath, eat some cheese.